Was I having contractions? Yes. Did I stop having contractions? Yes. Am I still pregnant? Yes. Hey there, honeys. It's Audra, and today I'm going to be doing a unboxing of um, Coffee and Classics, which is a new subscription that I signed up for after I canceled my previous book subscription because I was just getting um, so many books that I wasn't reading. And last year I decided that I wanted to uh, read more classics you know, it's just kind of a, a thing people do. And um, so I thought this would be a great box to try out. So I'm going to be unpacking that. I pretty much have like <laughs> all of my packages kind of arrived at one time. They were running late and then they all just kind of came. So that was exciting, but it also means that I have a backlog, which I guess is good because I can do some... Um, some videos to post when I am not of the energy to do so. Before we begin, I would like to remind you that if you like the content that I create on this channel, please remember to like and subscribe. Also, click the little bell icon so that you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. First things first, classics and coffee. So this subscription box, they uh, curate with a classic that they pick out. So a classic book, you can choose regular classics, adult classics, or regular, or children's classics. It comes with a book, it comes with various uh, swag that is inspired from the book. You get a coffee mug and um, either coffee, tea, or hot chocolate, whichever you choose. They have a, um, a more standard subscription, which doesn't include the coffee cup. And instead you just really, you get the book and the drink and that's it. Once the box is kind of open here, that's a very nice presentation, I like that. Just now remember to plug in my microphone so the audio will have changed at this point. So it's a box within a box. So here is the box that all of the goodies are in. Like the little thing there. Coffee and classic. I'm excited to see what's in here. I didn't spoil anything, so I don't know. It's a total surprise. Whoop. Oh. Wuthering Heights. <laughs> Emily Bronte. They could not have chosen a better first box. Or I guess I couldn't have chosen a better first month, so to try this out. So here is the nestled coffee cup. I'm going to show you all of this. So we have, um, this box is inspired by Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. We have a tea mug, a bookish item one, bookish item two, a snack, and a bookmark. So let's see what we have. Um, Kathy's Ghost. So this is the tea and it is a green tea with orange, blue cornflowers, and natural bergamot flavor. <gasps> I am so, I can't wait to try that. So this, what do we have, what do we have? So this is the bookish item, one Wuthering Heights. Let's see, car coasters. So these go in your car. And the little cup holders. And they are absorbent, it says, so in case you have a spill. Keeps the gunk off, that's great and fun. What, you know what? I think this is the first bookish item I've ever had for my car. And that is, you don't even think about that. You're in your car so much and you don't like bring in the personality to your car that you do everywhere else. So this is really neat. This is the Moors, the Moors hand sanitizer. Let's see, enriched with moisturizers and vitamin E for soft hands. Let's see if it smells good. Oh, it's very, the alcohol smell is very light. I do smell the alcohol in there, but it's not like overwhelming. And there's something else too. It is a very mysterious scent. You can always use some hand sanitizer. It's a deep green smell. 
Yes, it's a very green, a greenery smell, a grassy smell. I like that actually. And it's not overwhelming. It's very, it's a very gentle scent. So, and it's going to dissipate, I'm sure pretty soon. So it's not something that's going to linger around a whole lot. I like that. That's awesome. So that's my bookish item. Number two here. Let's see what I want. Oh, more tea. No, what is this? Oh, so this must be the snack. Heathcliff candy. What? Heathcliff candy? Heathcliff candy bars from nuts.com. <gasps> okay, should I try it now or wait until I have my tea? I'm not waiting. I'm trying it now. So what? It looks like we have some toffee in there. I'm not a huge toffee fan, but because it gets stuck in my teeth. Yeah, it's toffee. But you know what? It's not too bad. It's not super hard. This is yummy. Yep, it's good. Approved. So now we have the coffee mug. And I love this quote. This is one of my favorite quotes of of all time, taken out of context. Whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. I am in love with that. And it's just a very simple design. Dishwasher safe, microwave safe. It doesn't say. I'm not sure if this would be dishwasher safe or microwave safe. Probably microwave safe because it's just ceramic. I, I don't know about whether or not the dishwasher would have an effect on um, the pretty decal here. So this is probably something I'll hand wash just in case, but love, love that. I love the simplicity of it and just how elegant it looks. And then of course I love the quote. And finally the book itself. Oh wait, no, 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 wait, I forgot. I totally forgot the bookmark here. There's a bookmark. And it's the same quote, whatever our souls are made of, his and mine are the same. And here is, oh, a gorgeous edition of Wuthering Heights. Um, and it is, oh my goodness, I don't even know. This isn't hardcover, but it's not paperback. It has a soft, flexible cover here. It looks like a hardcover, but it's flexible cover. And it's just gorgeous. I love the green. The green is just making my heart sing. Be with me always. Take any form. Drive me mad. Only do not leave me in this abyss where I cannot find you. Oh God, it is unutterable. I cannot live without my life. I cannot live without my soul. Emily Bronte, where are you guys? Oh my God. This is the most angsty, dramatic book ever. I've read this. There are classics. There are classics that I have read. I mean, I've lot of, I've read a lot of um, Jane Austen and the from the Bronte sisters, but um, there's lots and lots that I haven't. So I'm super excited to be eventually getting all of those, and I will definitely read this again because it's been years. But this is a this is such a gorgeous addition to to have. Like I would just want to keep this. Ow, just to look at it, it's so pretty. Listen, 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 listen. Oh, I love it. I love that sound. Mmm, yep. Books, y'all. So, first box, absolutely love it. Um, I am very pleased with everything that was in here. I can't wait to try the tea. The coffee mug is really cute. I like the candy. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a huge toffee fan, but this is just soft enough. Like it's not gonna break my teeth and it's not gonna get super stuck in my teeth. So I don't know, like nuts.com, I'll have to check that out. I'm gonna eat a little bit more. What a great way to enjoy classics in a new way and again you can choose coffee or hot chocolate instead of tea and i chose tea I'm really interested to see kathy's what kathy's ghost tastes like 
So yeah, what an encouraging box to be able to sit down with a book and a cup of coffee, tea, or hot chocolate and a snack and just really in, enjoy the story. Still have all of this green stuff on my vanity and uh, which is perfect because happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Heritage wise, my family is a pretty big percentage um, Irish. Neither here or there, really, other than the fact that I guess the whole, like, kiss me, I'm Irish shirt would actually work. Book bookmark in there. Of course, it has a beautiful ribbon. You want to use that instead. So, yes, I am pretty pleased with this box, with everything I received. The book, the coffee mug, the snack, the tea, um, and then the bookish items, which were really fun. The car um, coasters and then the Moore's hand sanitizing gel and then of course the little bookmark was super super cute as well i i think that i think what like put it over the top for me as far as being so awesome is this edition and how beautiful this edition is um that was really the kicker and of course the mug matches so prettily and it's just so very simple and elegant and i love it i cannot wait until the next box. I'm going to keep it a secret for myself. I'm not going to ruin what's coming next. So I am going to make sure that it is a surprise and I don't know what book is coming. I'm not going to do any sneak peeks. Um, I do like having surprises like that. And I think I may change it to hot chocolate next time. Since I already received the Sip Spy subscription with the tea, maybe I'll do hot chocolate instead and just uh, vary it up. That's it for this one. That is all for this video unboxing of Coffee and Classics. I hope you go check them out. You can find them on Instagram right here, or I will link the, I'll link Instagram, but I will also link their website down below so you can go and see what kind of options they have, what the past boxes have been, uh, see if it's something that it interests you. For the next video, I will be unpacking my sticky subscription. I did all three this time again um, this month, pop, cute, and vintage sticker packs that also have some stationery in. So I will be opening those to see what I received, what the themes were this month. I may be wearing the exact same thing and the same makeup because I'm doing these videos back to back. I really truly have no idea when this kid is coming, but he is coming at some point in the near future. So I'm just preparing for that. Anyway, until next video, take care, be well, bye.